Hey, what's up guys? Earned the Worm here again with another action figure review. Today I'm having a look at the Kama Cave 112th scale shotgun Iron Man armor. This is a Kama Cave Studios figure and it is 75% die cast metal. You have a magnet on this front flap and you can open it up and see the figure displayed inside. And it is the Mark 40. The back just has a really cool graphic of the figure. So not much to the packaging, so I'm going to get everything out now so we can have a closer look at its accessories and the figure itself. This shotgun armor stands right at 6 inches tall. And for his accessories, you get this small screwdriver in case you need to change his batteries. There's also a cleaning cloth in there and some instructions. You get this very nice little base, says Iron Man Mark 40 shotgun on it. And you actually get two stems for it. This translucent one you can plug in. But you also get this dynamic one, which I really like. With the dynamic one, I don't know why you would use the other one. You do get the clasp for it as well. You also get this small piece to fit into the clasp to stabilize the figure. And there is two different holes there in case you need it back a little farther. You get two open palm hands with nice repulsors on the palms. And there is a clear plate of plastic over that paint. Makes it look really nice. You get these grabbing hands which look really good. I like the way they're shaped. Good sculpt and paint on them. You get two more open palm hands which are nearly identical to the other ones I showed so I don't know why they threw two pair of those in but they did. Then you get these hands with the ports for the blast effects. And you get two of these nicely sculpted blast effects that plug into the hands. So there is the blast effect plugged into the hand. It goes in there nice and sturdy. Then you get this really big blast effect that goes into his back. If you remember in the movie when he got in this armor in Iron Man 3, he actually got knocked backwards off of that shipping container structure. And when it knocked him back, he had a big thrust come out of his back and it stopped him. Looks really cool in there, plugs in really nice. That's all for his accessories. Now I want to compare him to a couple other of the 112th scale die cast figures. On the left, this is the Iron Patriot, but the Iron Patriot was actually pre-Comma Cave when it was just play imaginative. And on the right, we have the 112th Comma Cave Igor figure, and that figure is absolutely one of my favorite figures in my collection. It is absolutely just a masterpiece of a figure. I absolutely love it. And there it is compared to the SH Figuarts Ant-Man figure and the Revotech Deadpool figure. Now to the figure itself. This is a really nice looking figure. I like the paint scheme on it. And it is a really unique collar paint. I don't exactly know what collar it is. It's a greenish, navy, bluish, grayish, metallic paint. And it is super nice. I really like it. It has black panel lining throughout the figure. Some people said they had a lot of problems with their black panel lining, but mine seems to be pretty decent. And this is 75% die cast, and I think the die cast parts are the arms and the legs are die cast on him. Everything else seems to be plastic, which I don't mind. Those heavy legs give him a really good base to stand, keep him weighed down at the bottom. And he does have a light up feature. You have a switch in the back here, and that will work his chest repulsor and the eyes. You can kind of see the eyes through the visor, but that visor will flip up. And I like the sculpt on his face. He looks like a shark ninja. If you move him around a whole lot though with that repulsor lit up, it cuts out sometimes. And this figure was retailing for over $100. And I actually picked it up for around $60 shipped. So they've went way down in price. And I really don't understand why. It is a very nicely done figure. And on articulation on him, his head really might as well not move at all. It will look down that much. Up is pretty much just straight forward. You really got no left or right movement at all. His shoulder pads are connected to the shoulder. I wish they were connected to the arm. 
but they're not bad because they have a really small barbell type ball joint in there. So they get pretty good movement and they do get out of the way pretty good. Your arm is on a butterfly type ball joint, so it will go forward and back. We'll go up. You can't go all the way around for that shoulder pad, but you can get pretty good movement out of it. He does have an upper bicep swivel, a double bend at the elbow that you can get 90 out of, but that's all. And the wrists are on a small ball joint and you really can't get a whole lot of movement out of those. You have a little movement at the midsection, not much at all. You can get some swivel out of it, but he wants to go back when you turn him, like he's spring loaded. These armor plates at the hips will move to allow for some more leg movement and then they will fit right back into place. His legs will drop down to allow for a little better kick forward and back. And you got a double bend at the knee that you can get 90 out of. You have this little plate in the back that opens up to allow the feet to go back further. He has really weird toe articulation. It splits the foot in half. I thought that was kind of weird looking. It doesn't really go up much. You can also pull the foot down, kind of like the legs notched down. You can pull them down to allow for extra movement. But I'll take a minute now and switch out some accessories and get a few poses with this figure. Kind of looks like his back's puking, don't it? Blech! Or it has a sweet fire beard. Finally figured out what those gripping hands were for. They're his moped riding hands. So that's my look at the Kama Cave Iron Man Mark 40 shotgun armor. Very cool, 1 12th scale figure. And if you can pick it up for the $60, I say it's worth it. Nice die cast in the legs, so he stands pretty well. Good sculpt on him, very good paint work. Cool light up feature. So I say he's well worth the $60, not the 120 But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye for now. I wonder if that burns his butt.